Diga de cobaro. De cobaro. De cobaro. from Busan and welcome back to my channel. I've missed you guys so much. Come in. Bring it in. Bring it in. You know, it's just, it's been so long, girl. I may have posted about two weeks ago, but honestly, I haven't sat down and filmed something in so long for you guys. I kind of feel like I don't remember how to do it. I haven't told you guys what's been going on in my life. Does my voice sound weird? I think I'm just too excited to calm down. Relax. So today I wanted to get on here and do something that we haven't done in forever, which are snack and chats. I went and bought some snacks that kind of emulate the mood that I was going for. So originally when I was like, I want to do this snack and chat, I have my topic that's kind of dark and not fun, honestly. And so I was like, I'm going to go buy snacks that seem like they're gonna disappoint me, much like the topic of the snack and chat. And then I thought, let's go with some dark makeup. Um, and then I get on here and I'm super excited to be talking to you guys again. And all of my gothness is out the window, okay? Whatever, I can't be gothy, I'm just too excited. Today's snacks are as follows. Let's do a snack tour, shall we? Yes, peep the nails. Peep all this good nailage. Um, so this is a snack called Okinta Injormi Snack. So these are black sesame injormi snacks. Um, I got these because I really like um, injormi bingsu. Uh, put that here. <laughs> injormi bingsu. I really like it. So I got this. And then I saw these, which you already know what they are. You don't even need me to pronounce them to you. These are churros. Is that what it says? Yeah, churros. These are churros, supposedly. Oh wow, look on the back. It's like, <laughs> oh, can you see it? On the back, it's like Spain, hola, um, some other things. Yeah, that's cute. So I got these because we know good and well a churro chip is not good. It's probably not going to have enough cinnamon. It's not going to be sweet enough. And then I got this. So this is actually not something I am disappointed about. This is something I actually already like. So just focus on me. Out of focus me is really cute. <laughs> focus girl. Look at me. There you go. I looked over to the right, and in this little refrigerator, I saw shikke, but banana version. You heard that right. I found the banana version of shikke. And first of all, look how emo this little penguin looks. Wait a minute, do you see his hair? Do you see that Justin Bieber, My Chemical Romance hair? Like. You can't even see his eyes. That's how emo he is. So as some of you know, no, all of you know this. All of you know this. Who am I kidding? All of you know that I am single, which means that I don't have a man. I don't know why I thought I needed to explain single. But basically, I'm single. I've been pretty much single the entire time I've been in Korea. Oh, weird. These are like, these are like 3D, not... Not expecting that. My experience with dating has been slim to none. I don't really try to... Oh, they... Okay, they kind of smell good. But it's because of the black sesame. I love black sesame. Um, the dating pool has kind of been kind of meh. Um, anybody that's been kind of interested in me, I wasn't interested in them. And then people I was interested in weren't interested in me. So, yeah. Moving on from that, I haven't really been trying to date much. Um, wait a minute. They're okay. Wait a minute. They're okay. Hold on. Oh, I get it now. Okay. 
the thing I like about it is it kind of gives me, it's the black sesame taste, but it's also the peanut, it's kind of giving me like a peanut butter taste. That's because it's injured me, which is, um, if I remember correctly, it's bean powder. Um, so when you get this kind of in Jeremy Bingsu, it's like shaved ice, red beans, and then, um, bean powder on top. And that's what I'm getting. Okay, I like it because I like peanut butter. Okay, I did not expect to like this. Basically, I haven't really been dating. And I haven't really been trying. And it's always at the beginning of the year, like between January and May, where I try to date someone and I fail and then I don't try again for an entire year which is like okay but like I have like intentions of being married and having a family before I'm 30 I hope and I've got like only four years left so I need to start dating more than once a year so usually what happens is in January I'll like re-download tinder and I'll go in with like this new thought process that I'm just, I'm just not going, I'm gonna let it roll off my back. Any weird things people say, I'm just gonna let it roll off my back. I'm not gonna get triggered by people always asking me the same four questions. What's your name? Where are you from? Are you a teacher? How long have you been here? What ended up happening is this woman, she's so great, put on this event um, that is basically asking deep, in like deep thoughtful questions um, and then having two people talk about those questions for six minutes and then you kind of rotate to the next person and have a different deep question and she initially kind of called it speed dating without the dating and I was like I like that like I I miss I crave having genuine conversations with people because after four years in Korea I can honestly say even with my Korean friends I barely have like deep conversations I kind of miss conversations like that. I feel like I haven't had conversations like that since college. So the idea was tempting and I went and um, it was great. It was so fun because everyone was strangers. No one knew anybody. There were foreigners, there were also Koreans. The questions were things I hadn't thought about in a long time. And so I just kind of was able to relive some of the best moments of my life and some of the worst ones. And I was able to do that with someone that was equally doing that same thing. So it was really nice. Plus there was a, there was a cutie there. He was real cute and real interesting. And I was like, I could get used to this. Let's open this. I'm a little parched. I literally... <laughs> I gotta be so strong. Did you see me struggle? So, it's really weird. Um, it smells like bananas. It's got that artificial banana smell, you know. If you're from the States, you know that smell. That, that um, banana Laffy Taffy. It smells like that banana Laffy Taffy. I kid you not, as soon as I took a sip, my card said fool. Really, girl? Just out here trying to play me. The banana is very subtle. I don't know, the whole thing is very subtle. It is rice rice punch, but I think because I ate something sweet, it like really mellowed the flavor. So it's it's definitely giving me more water. I'm getting notes of, of water. Water and banana. Yeah, it just, it's fine. I'm not that disappointed. This this is not going the way I planned. I plan to be very disappointed by everything. Moving on in the story. So that meeting was cool. Cute guy was there. He's just so cute and so not interested in me. It's crazy how much that happens. So at the first event, um, there was a guy there. The question for the deep conversation was, who, uh, what are, who are two people that inspire you the most? And it was like only one of them can be a family member. So I was like, you know, just my mom. Shout out to my mom. She shaped me to be a hard worker. She shaped um, me to be a creative person. She really supported me and helped me 
be confident in the things that make me who I am. And the guy across from me is like, yeah, the person that inspires me the most is Trump. So the person that inspires him most is Trump because, and I quote, when Trump said that he would run for president, people laughed at him. So by becoming president, he overcame a lot of adversity. This man sat across from me and said this. Needless to say, that was the longest six minutes of my life. I went to a few more of her events, um, met a lot of cool people, met some awkward people. Imagine you just walked up to a meeting of strangers and everyone's kind of talking about, you know, their background, what's your name, where are you from, you know, that kind of thing. And someone asks you like, oh, where are you from? And you're like, oh, I'm from Michigan. And they're like, oh, God forbid, Flint. And you're like, kinda. Who just says that? Like, what am I supposed to say about that? Like, who would say that? So I just, already my first impression of you is like, uh-uh. Moving on. So I skipped the third thing, girl. I was like, no, I can't do this no more. So yeah, I skipped that third one because I was like, I can't. Here's the thing, here's a little history lesson for y'all. Black women, women, especially black women, are asked to just sit through some of some foolishness, you know? And black women are just asked to be in some truly ignorant spaces. And I was like, I'm taking back my time. I've had it. I've had it. And I ain't go to nothing else until she hosted a speed dating event. And that brings us to our next snack, yeah? Let's let's get a new case in our mouth. Let's truly set up for the disappointment that this speed dating was. The way I open things is truly tragic. <laughs> How I opened this was straight booty cheeks as well. So, they smell really cinnamony. Yep, so here they are, they're churros, okay. <laughs> I'm tired. Basically, she's like, you know, this is a speed dating event. Um, come meet the love of your life. And I was like, I'll, I'll go. Sure, why not? What's the worst that could happen? But I wore this cute little dress and I was like, okay, let's do this. I did my makeup all cute. I don't have any pictures because I was rushing. Because y'all know I'm late to everything. It's so loud in my ears. So, boom. Girls are there. Everybody's looking cute, you know? And then the guys. <laughs> the guys, uh, they didn't even try. If we're being honest, um, the first guy that sits across from me, this Korean guy, you know, we have to introduce ourselves a little bit. And he's like, yeah, I really want to learn English. Why? 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 The reason why that's so triggering is that literally Koreans take up spaces that are for dating by wanting language exchange. And I'm just like, why are you here? This is speed dating. This is called speed dating. Are you even single? Most of us are teachers and now we have to spend our Sunday being teachers again thanks and then you get to this event and there's like one guy that's kind of cute this is the best of the bunch kind of thing i get to talking six minutes for each couple and then the women rotate talk to the first guy Yay, he's a language exchange guy. Next, um, next guy, we get the question about, what do you think happens after we die? So I got to talk for two minutes. 
out of the three that I'm allotted. Um, and then he spoke four minutes about rice. I'm not kidding. He spoke about rice for four minutes. Moving on to the next gentleman. This guy was kind of cute. This was the kind of cute guy. So we were talking and it was really nice and we were about to start a debate. Our question was about what's the best thing you've ever achieved in life, something like that. And I was like, I hope I haven't already achieved it. Like I'm only 26, I don't wanna have peaked already. And he's like, yeah, I'm 41. I don't think I've made that decision yet. He was cute, but there's something about him I didn't like. He basically was talking about how he's not really sure decisions brought him to where he is in life right now, just choices. And he's like, oh, I guess I'm like teaching here, whatever that is. And I was like, teaching is a serious job that everyone should take seriously because it's literally molding the minds of impressionable youth. And it should not be considered a hobby. Teaching is not a hobby. So he was a no for me. But I kind of put a check because we had a good conversation outside of that. And then the last guy was kind of funny. He was so funny at first. Every girl that was with him was laughing out loud. Like I laughed a lot too. And we both checked each other off. I was like, you know what? I want to talk to you again. So after the event, you had to pretty much check which ones that you wanted to see again. And if both of you matched, um, the creator was going to send you each other's phone numbers. So afterwards, me and the girls kind of sat together and talked about just how disappointing the, the group was. Like the guys barely tried. Um, they talked over us a lot and wasn't really a lot of attraction. Um, and then the funny guy came over to talk to us and I feel like I haven't eaten a snack in forever. I'm sorry, you guys. I was really enthralled in that. So basically, I'm going back to this because this was less disappointing. Basically, he was like... So the funny guy, the question that we had together was, if you could wave a magic wand and change or fix something about the world, what would it be? And mine was colorism. I think colorism, or should I say fixing colorism, oh, it would just eliminate so many issues. And obviously not all of them, but it would just eliminate so many. And he was like, like yeah, like when I went to University of Washington and I heard about all the like racial discrimination in our judicial system, I was like, this is not okay. And I was like, wait, you learned about racism in college? what <laughs> you didn't know anything about it before college i don't know guys i i feel like i grew up knowing a lot about racism and i don't want to think it's just because i grew up in flint but like maybe that's the case please tell me if i'm wrong in the in the in the in the downstairs <laughs> in the comments section did you learn about racism in college he ruined it even more as if as if it couldn't get worse I really like these ones y'all and they kind of taste like if you put some milk in there it would be like cereal I like this he goes to shake my hand we go to shake hands and it's good it's really good this right here I don't know who invented this as soon as this happened I was like okay maybe I can still be matched with this person and then he does this as a black woman in Korea I have received so many forms of the dap so many of these for some reason, non-black men just think that this is what you do to a black woman. It has always come out of someone thinking that that's what they're supposed to do. And I have a message for non-black men out there. Are you listening? Come closer. Non-black men, you do not have to Malibu's Most Wanted, your personality, 
to make us like you. In doing that, you assume that we are only attracted to black men because of stereotypes you've seen in movies and music videos. That is not the case. Okay? You can just give us a handshake. You know, just 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 give us a handshake. Don't don't lock your fingers. Don't come towards my shoulder. Don't don't do it. That was the the end of it. I got on the subway and I texted the girl like, I'm pretty sure I matched with him. Um, delete it. So that was my speed dating experience. It was trash. At the end of the day, I don't think speed dating is for me. I gotta figure out something though, guys. You know, I want a family. I want a husband. I want little mini me's that hopefully don't have my personality. <laughs> But we'll see. I'll always keep you guys updated if anything changes. But in the time since this channel has started, I can assure you I'm still only your bae. Bae. Stop. Oh my god. You're embarrassing me right now. Bae. Oh my goodness. Okay, please don't unsubscribe. <laughs> Alright, that is the end of my video. If you have been missing my zombie content, I can assure you it's coming back. I promise the videos are coming, so please subscribe to my channel. I have so many exciting things coming up for you guys. So many updates and so many movies. I plan to watch Parasite within the next week. I've never seen it. I haven't even seen a trailer. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed your snacks. Bye. <laughs> ah, I'm gonna be single forever.